Okay, welcome back. This is Joe. Today I'm going to do the Lewis Marks Knights. So, I know I've got more of them somewhere. I'm not sure where they are, but you know, got them in the 1970s when I was a kid. This is what I have left. There's a lot of cool ones and some maybe just a little static, but you know, they're still pretty cool nonetheless. So these guys are a soft plastic, right? So, <clears throat> this one's a little bent up, you see, but, but it is fairly soft. Uh, the right you can see but anyway there's this guy here and uh, he's got the got the short helmet right see so his chin and everything is kind of hanging out the bottom <laughs> anyway so uh, I like that pose that's pretty good let me put him right there just this a little bit better here Ooh. how's that is that better all right okay so we got this guy he's right on top looks like he wants to play and a nice axeman Full armor, <clears throat> his mask is up, you can see his face. And uh, when I was starting to paint, I was thinking that, you know, I was getting a little bit better, so I tried to go for the face. Mm. I'm not sure what color lipstick he's wearing, but it looks really sweet. <laughs> uh, and the night, he, look, he didn't take real good care of his uh, equipment. I guess he met that Viking from the last video, and they, they clinked their axes together and chipped their blades up. Anyway. I was uh, enjoying these guys quite a bit. I played with them. Oh my goodness, for years I played with these guys. They they fought the Vikings all the time. But look, I was even trying to make a white knight. Yeah. Okay, we'll set that to the side. Okay, here's another guy flinging a uh, swinging a flail, sling it, flinging a flinging a swale. No, swinging a flail. Anyway, there he is. This out of the way just a little bit. Can you still see him? Yeah, all right. And I like his armor. Kind of funky. It's just on a chain, right? He doesn't, it, it, just a mace, I guess. Mace and a ball on a chain. No stick to make it a flail. But he's swinging it away. Here's a same dude painted. And then this one, okay, so this guy I, I painted. I painted his armor bright silver. I don't know why. But I did. That's what I did. I painted his armor bright silver. Then, <clears throat> it looks like I painted this guy's armor bright silver as well. And green helmet. Oh, yeah, he got stuck down in the bogs. Okay. But then I discovered this matted metal paint. Much better. Much more realistic. And a neater job. I was getting a little better with these guys. Some of them. Some of them not. All right, but here he is. And then there was a variation on this guy. And I have one of them. Where is he at? Oh, here he is. Look, I don't know if I don't know if this was an error, or if it was supposed to be that way, but it's just a metal ball. I think looking back, you know, since it's just the one guy, and it's not even all that even, it's probably just a miscast. So. Because of the the markings here, Marks and Company, Lewis Marks and Company, there's a date all on Roman numerals. I can't quite read it because it's so small. But there we go. I'm not sure. I'll have to look up, see what year that is. I'll put it up on the screen because, you know, I don't have that memorized. But anyway, so this is from way back then as a miscast. Hey, this is a $2,000 figure right here, everybody. Woo! I'm putting him up on eBay. Okay, but there he is with this. Look, he's got a skunk stripe. Not bad. All right. There is a commander. Let's get that guy out of the way. There we go. Here's our commander. You know, his shield looked pretty good at the time. It all chipped away because, remember, they're still very soft plastic. Can you see? It's still such soft plastic. Even after all this time, some of it does get brittle and does break off, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But the shield kept bending and everything, and all of that paint. I had black and gold stripes on there, and I think the I think the diagonal was red. It's probably what I did because that's the kind of thing that I liked to do. Right in your nose. Okay. Uh, so there's the commander. He's got a great big handlebar mustache. Kind of funny. I even put sideburns on him. You see? 
Look at that, sideburns. So 1970s. All right, then there's a man of arms here. Let's put this guy up. I like him a little bit better. And the officer, not another officer there. Okay, here's a man at arms. Standing at attention, your everyday run-of-the-mill, stuck in a dusty hallway kind of a knight in armor. So there he is, in all his glory. Uh, okay, so this one wasn't so good. I take it back that I was getting better. Yeah. Oh, look, this guy. I'm not sure if I did that. Oh, I think I did. Because there's none of the shield here. So I cut that away. I don't know what I was intending on doing. Oh, I even cut his sword scabbard away. What was I thinking? Anyway, I don't know. Okay, so here's a, a good swordsman. Without a sword. It's like Aragorn. The blade that was broken. Hmm. Except there's no blade at all. I've got another one here. Where is he? Here he is. Oh, and this one's even a better paint job. Okay, there we go. So, that sword is still so... I'm going to have to be careful when I put him back into the box. Because it's still so soft. And uh, his armor is painted just like this one's. So, I think they look, they look better. Much better. Later later paint jobs and do is there another is there another pose I, i'm not sure oh look i had some black knights i had the bad guys yeah i'm not sure why the black armor indicated that they're bad guys but hey there we go i think it kind of looked pretty good in black i like that look better than in white that was kind of goofy. All right. So we'll put him here. And he, let's see. And there were a couple of knights on horseback. Here are two of the horses. I don't know if there were more or not. But here's one. He's charging, fully armored. And then this one is just kind of hanging out. Again, because he's fully armored, he's tired. So, And then there were the, the knights that rode it. And here he is. I've got two of them. Let me see. Yeah, that's better. Look at that. All right. So uh, I painted his armor as well. It's looking pretty slick. But I never came back and touched anything up. And all, any red that I had on there, it's all gone now as well. But he rode on here pretty good. Kind of big, but, you know... I guess they weren't really into the scale thing at that point. So those are the knights. I think that's all of the poses. Yeah, that's all of the poses. So those are the knights that I have still. Uh, well, I'm saddened that they're all kind of gone, but we had the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine poses, counting the two horses. And, uh, there's the other guy. There we go. There, Knights on Parade. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the Lewis Marks and Company Knights. This is uh, circa 1970s. And again, I'll put the, the date up that's stamped on their bottom. And I've got some more to play with. And uh, that video will be coming really soon. So come on back and check it out at that point. Thank you. Bye. Ha ha ha!